This is what happened when India's Prime Minister abruptly banned two of the country's biggest banknotes last year in an effort to make the economy less cash dependent. Thousands lined up at banks to get money, and people struggled to pay for food and wages. In big cities like New Delhi, Modi's plan appears to be fast-tracking the transition to digital payments. But analysts say the cash ban has widened the divide in financial access between those who can join the new digital economy and those who cannot. After the cash ban, small businesses like this food truck owners are rushing to adapt. Cashless transaction जो था ये पहले बहुत कम था और जब से ये demonetization हुआ है तो public के पास cash देने के लिए नहीं था तो वो ATM, Paytm के जरिए हम लोगों ने उनकी मदद की. Demand is surging for Paytm and other mobile services. We used to do something like two million transactions a day and now we are doing about more than seven million. Around 300 miles from Delhi, it's a different story. Many villagers have bank accounts because of government-led financial inclusion programs. But access to mobile phones, especially among women, is scarcer, and so are the skills to use them. Shops and businesses in this area have been hurt. Subhash Chandra says business has halved. Without cash, people aren't buying. Some people have lost their jobs because without cash, companies aren't able to pay them. Nainu Singh is one of them. For the last several years, he worked in a plywood factory. After demonetization, his employer couldn't get enough notes to pay his salary. Villagers here receive wages and government subsidies through their bank accounts. To access the money, they travel to a local town. Months after the cash ban, there are still queues for the ATMs. India has only 18 cash machines for every 100,000 adults, and that number is lower in rural areas. India's government says that in the long run, its cash ban strategy will improve people's lives. The government plans to offer training on using digital payments. But there are other challenges to digital services in India. Mobile internet connectivity is patchy in rural areas. There are more than 20 regional languages in even more dialects, and building consumer trust where there aren't any physical branches can be difficult. Still, even in one of the most remote locations, there are signs of change. Sadpal Singh is the name of the shop. And the shop is Sadpal Singh sells masala tea, small items, and does minor auto repairs. He started accepting mobile payments after the cash ban and says it's helping him recover his business.